What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we just finished the live stream reaction for SmackDown tonight, man. Shout out to everyone that was a part of it. We had a good time as always, always. But I wanted to talk about the most noticeable things that happened on SmackDown. Now, we all know that uh, John Cena has some issues with uh, uh, Jimmy, and subsequently he has some issues with uh solo and the bloodline and what's going on there so john cena starts off the show you know he starts off the show crowd was very hot very electric starts off the show lets them know like hey man you know i, I have some issues with the bloodline and you know um another person that i know that has some issues with the bloodline aj styles or whatnot and aj styles helped them last week fend off uh solo and uh jimmy so he's like you know what i was thinking maybe me and aj styles can team up and you know what i'm saying take down the bloodline together and i think that's a cool little moment because we know aj styles and john cena they've had their history they've had their feuds had some classic great fantastic match matches back there back during the smackdown live days so you know aj styles comes out there crowds like you know pretty much doing the yes chance to seeing if a you know if they're gonna be down to you know if aj's gonna be down to working with john cena and of course aj's like yeah let's get let's get this going bro i'm tired of it you want some come get some so it, it seems like we're gonna get an impromptu tag team match because john was like i'm not i'm not here to talk i'm here to fight i'm here to wrestle so jimmy and solo come out to the ring they look like they're about to get into the ring but they don't they back off so at this point um when we come back to the show aj and uh john cena they're trying to talk to adam pierce to get a match like to make it official let's let's make this match official let's get it going or whatever so we cut to um paul Heyman and uh solo and jimmy they're all in this one uh one room or whatnot and uh adam pierce comes in there and he's basically like yo you know what i'm saying there's a there's a contract that i need you guys to sign to potentially have this tag team match happening paul Heyman's like well we're not doing this match tonight if it was to happen he's like no this is for fast lane so will y'all be out there for the contract signing potentially and jimmy answers because jimmy acting like he run things now sell out jimmy as we call him he acting like he run things now he's like yeah we'll be out there to sign it it's all good it's all good and paul Heyman's looking like what the hell is going on here like that wasn't the order wasn't given by roman reigns i was like man bro it's all good we'll take care of it so as uh adam pierce leaves this nigga solo has nothing but murder on his mind so solo is like you know what well actually uh jimmy ends up you know reassuring everybody yo we're gonna take care of this do what we gotta do and he leaves solo murder on his mind he's like you know what i'm gonna make sure that they don't even make it to payback i'm gonna make sure this that it's, it's not even gonna happen or whatnot and he walks off with some evil intentions and that's when paul Heyman's like who gave that order and i like what they're doing here where it's like jimmy and solo are kind of doing their own thing like they're not really they're saying they're doing this for the bloodline but none of the stuff that they're doing has been given uh like they haven't been given the orders to do it by roman reigns so paul Heyman's like damn i gotta call roman again because once again they're doing their own thing which may play into something later on i don't know if they're gonna really expound on that but it could be interesting to see what they do whenever Roman does come back. So we get to the contract signing. It's the main event of the show. John Cena comes out there. Like I said, he's not here to really talk. He's pretty much here for some action. He comes out there. He signs the contract before anyone else even gets there. AJ Styles music hit. Now you know AJ Styles using when he's when he when his music hit it like he you know raises up you know he does his little pose when the the beat drops <clears throat> or whatever beat drop. He wasn't out there. I was like, oh, I automatically knew. If you've been watching wrestling as long as I have, I knew if the guy is not out there when he normally is, there's a good chance he's getting stomped out in the back. And we cut to a camera of him getting stomped out by Jimmy Uso in the back. There's a whole bunch of production crates. He's just catching the beats. 
No help from the OC or anything. He's just catching the beats. No security, no officials, no agents, backstage agents, just him, a whole bunch of production crates, AJ receiving the vicious beats. Then afterwards, they uh Jimmy throws him over the crates so you can't see him. And then you have fucking Solo Sokoa sitting up there at the top of this little tall little uh, electrical uh, structure, like some type of like LED board. And he's at the top of it or whatever, looking like a goddamn dark night looking over Gotham City. He's just sitting there and he just, he does his little, ah, and then jumps off this platform all the way down to AJ below. We obviously don't see it because he probably jumped into a crash pad. So at this point, I'm like, yo, this nigga solo killed himself to kill AJ Styles to send they he sent them he sent himself and AJ to the gulags. Then the next frame, after the security officials, all of a sudden they finally come out to check on AJ Styles and Solo. This nigga hops from behind the crates with no damage. This nigga <laughs> suffered zero damage. He had no fall damage on for his character. He was 100% fine after jumping from that height. If you've seen as much wrestling as, as I have, anytime like the Jeff Hardy or the Dudleys or Edge and Christian jump off of something and jump through, like they jump off of something to jump onto somebody through an object or whatever the case is, Usually, they are incapacitated as well. He suffered no damage. He was fine. This nigga, AJ Styles, looked like a dead body, bro. It was hilarious. This nigga was just... <laughs> just dead, bro. Through two tables. Dead. And then Solo flipping over tables with cleaning supplies on them for whatever reason. So, they go out to the ring... They talking, they trash, they feel real good. The crowd was really booing them. When Paul Heyman was trying to talk, they were really giving out some good heel heat, which was great. Or whatever. So this nigga John signed the contract or whatever, but he has no tag partner. He's by himself or whatnot. And then we get to a situation where, of course, my boy John being... John is going to go out there, you know, after, oh, I got to mention, as they're loading up uh, AJ Styles into the ambulance or whatnot, you see the OC members. They right there. And I was like, where was you when AJ was getting beat? It seems like they never are around when this nigga AJ is catching the beats. It's quite annoying bro they never around when aj is getting his ass whooped and then when he need medical attention that's when they're around and then one of them proceeds to kind of chastise john cena's like i told him to not get involved in bloodline business like y'all wrestlers why you acting like some goddamn pussies what this is just just throw them away just get them out of here but anywho so after that john comes out there it's a two-on-one situation he gets a little bit of the the upper hand but ultimately it's a two-on-one situation you get hit with the samoan spike then uh jimmy goes off the top hit the uh samoan splash whatnot they pick he picks up the contract jimmy he signs it solo ends up signing it or whatnot he puts the contract on him and then he goes up to the other top rope and then hits the, the samoan spa uh, splash again boom and then they both put up the ones and that was it that's how the show ended. Now, I know a lot of us in the chat felt like the show had a lackluster ending. And I think it's because there was a lot of stalling in this. I'm making this sound as quick as possible, but it was definitely a lot of stalling. So it seemed as if they were potentially maybe setting up somebody stepping into place to help John Cena. Now, I'm sure they're going to do that at some point, maybe next week or whatnot. Hopefully they do. Um, we'll figure out maybe who's going to be his <clears throat> his partner to help him at Fastlane. But at that moment, the way they set it up, it seemed like they had plenty of time for someone to come out there. So it seemed like they were stalling for time for someone to come out there, but no one ever did. So I know a lot of people in the chat, including myself, felt like that ending kind of was lackluster 
in a sense. But maybe we'll just have to wait till next week to see who will be John Cena's partner. So the real question I have, and I want to ask you guys as well, who do y'all think will be John Cena's tag team partner for payback? A lot of people are saying LA Knight. Some people are saying Randy Orton. Some people are hoping maybe it's The Rock. I don't know if it's going to be The Rock, but let me know. I I, I could see LA Knight being a... a being someone that could possibly help you know what i'm saying granted he's had his little run in with john cena or whatnot it's like a more of like a mutual respect and he's also sent his shots to the bloodline as well so that could be something his way to maybe you know setting up a few with uh solo uh la Knight setting up a few with solo at some point maybe or it could be randy orton because if we're going per storyline Randy Orton did get put on the self shelf storyline wise by the bloodline. So maybe it could be Randy Orton trying to get his retribution retribution. And it would be really interesting to see Randy Orton and John Cena on the same team, knowing their history too. That could be something. I don't know. Y'all let me know down below. Who do y'all think is going to be John Cena's tag team partner at Fastlane? Because he's most likely not going into this match in a two-on-one handicap. It's not going to happen like that. So, But let me know how y'all felt about SmackDown and this overall segment, man. I appreciate all the love and support you guys showed on, on the channel. Channel, Road to 150K, and I'm still undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.